Welcome to the lecture, Thunder Bay, the city of Thunder Bay, located also in Ontario. You can see the location in the map and some of the main important buildings that you can find in the city. Thunder Bay is a city on a Lake Superior in northwestern Ontario, Canada. The Fort William Tropical Park recreates an 1816 Fort Trading Post. A trail leads to the summit of the Mountain McKay, offering panoramic views, the Terry Fox Memorial, and a local feature a statue of the athlete and cancer research activities. So, on Sibley Peninsula, Sleepy Giant Provincial Park has trails plus wildlife like moose and wolves. So, it's a very typical and interesting city in Ontario. Now, let's take a look at their numbers. And here we are with some information about the city, thanks to Town Folio. Population wise, we have 107,909 inhabitants in the city of Thunder Bay. We see the middle income, the majority are between the range of 60,000 and 79,000, which basically tells us that there's a big chunk of population is middle class. We see that the median household is 66,163. The median age is around 44.6 of age. This 4,480 people constitute the visible minority. There is around 13,380 Aboriginal population. And the majority is going to be a female population in the city. The largest age cohort is age 55 to 59, which means that the city is really looking to get young, talented foreigners that can contribute to the economy and help uh, maintain the economy growing. When it comes to the labor force, we can see here that retail and healthcare constitute the biggest chunk in the labor force by industry in the city, followed by construction, manufacturing, and transportation. We also see the participation here with a big show in sales and services and business and finances, education and law, and natural resources with transportation and trade. More information, we can see the participation rate of 60.7%, unemployment rate is 7.7, .7, just the average of Canada, the largest industry by labor for its healthcare, and the largest occupation will be in sales and service. So you have experience in sales and services, but you have a lot of opportunity here in Thunder Bay. When it comes to taxes, the average tax follow the leave from Ontario. The federal tax is gonna be 15% for the first 48,535, and then from that range to 97,069, you get taxed at 20.5%. And the brackets continue as is showing this graph. Also, when it comes to income tax at the provincial level, for Ontario, you have 44,740, you get 5.05. .05. Then from that 44,740 till 89,482 a year, you get 9.15 income, provincial income tax, and then continue the brackets. Uh, different percentages based on the brackets. And that information for businesses are here, and you can find it in the attached research. Temperatures, minus 35 is the lowest temperature they registered in January. And it seems that January is the coldest month of the year, followed by February, March and then February. We see the amount of snowfall. Basically, December is a big month when it comes to snowfall. A little less in January, a little peak in February. And you see the highest temperature in the summertime will be 31. The lowest temperature in the winter will be minus 35. The most stable month is December, and the most unstable month will be March. Probably that is due to the fat of the lakes, okay? You have uh, highest rainfall, it will be in September, and your average weekly snowfall will be 101 centimeters. So this is information about the weather corresponding to the city of Thunder Bay.
the ownership basically the majority of the people are owners of their homes and there's a the rest of the population is are renters and we can see here that the majority of their dealing by bedroom will be a third bedroom uh, housing followed by a two bedroom housing when it comes to the prices of the houses we can see that the average prices in the city of Thunder Bay will be 252,159 uh, for a house you see the average rent will be around 8,003 Canadian dollars a month and you see that the majority of the homeowners that's around 32,770 homeowners in the city of Thunder Bay when it comes to transportation owning a vehicle will be the number one then you have vehicle passengers uh, public transportation and the the commute time basically the busiest time of the of the day will be between 8 a.m and 9 a.m that is the busiest of the on the roads and vehicle drivers 82.15 percent are vehicle drivers and cycling will be 1.30 percent in the topic of education the majority has a high school degree another big chunk of the population had no certificates and then the next one will have university degrees so major field of studies will be engineering related to and, and technology management and health related fields so these are the main the three main major fields of study of the people living in Thunder Bay engineering is the most popular field and you can see that a study in health fear is probably one of the most popular as well and high school is a predominant educational level in the city when it's to business industry you can see that the real estate constitutes the majority of businesses with 1721 so if you are a person that is experienced with real estate back home then you have opportunity to work in real estate once you get the, the education and the training that you need for the Canadian market and you can see also wholesale cost construction and also in healthcare those are opportunity for you there's a lot of a lot of businesses in those areas and the majority of the business here are small business with less than four employees followed by five to nine employees and small business are the majority of the city key metrics real estate is the largest business count and you can see the manufacturing it's around 162 businesses based on manufacturing uh, healthcare business 878 there are 54 businesses focused on mining and of course real estate 1721 businesses another thing that we can see in the in the city is the presence in the internet and we are now in the website of the city of thunder bay and it is important for you to check this website learn about the services that they offer the maps so you can check the map here you have the directory transit all the information about the city and also the recreation choices that you have library marina ports all the activities why because not only help you decide better if this Thunder Bay will be the city for you, but also it will come, when it comes to interview with the committee, the fact that you know things about the, the city and the activities and recreations and the events and everything like that will really set well with them and give you points when it comes to giving a recommendation. So it's important that you get familiar with the city. Here are the businesses, information about the businesses, the profile here for business, a lot of information, maps, studies, policy plans, the economic uh, snapshot, all the information you can get and information from the city hall, about rules, jobs in the city hall, and all the departments that are involved with this managing the city. So it is important for you to be familiar with the main website and as sexy and get familiar with you also can check all the information with events go to the social media just go to this facebook page in the facebook page you can see information with videos photos a link to youtube channel twitter and you can interact with people making comments and ask questions 
and they can they can be sure they will not be very happy to find people that are interested in the city and they're going to help you at least with information just be professional when you ask for information again don't say the typical oh give me a job something like that so it doesn't work like that you need to make connection as uh, smart questions and they will be happy to help you or guide you you can also check the youtube website you can subscribe check the videos they have a lot of videos here you have videos about people their opinion about the city what do they think about the city activities opportunities get a feel with the city services they have and that way you get you get educated about the city they have playlists videos and information about the city as well and probably other channels that they recommend in youtube of course linkedin is a must for you especially if you follow the city just follow here get information remember that the jobs will be probably job for the city and uh, normally it will be for permanent residents and citizens but when you go to people you can see the people that are connected to the city and if there's somebody with your the same occupation that you have then that give you an opportunity to network with that person introduce yourself and ask questions again as you do in facebook you can do that in linkedin and they have many people with a lot of information as as far as you follow the rules for networking with them so it will be easy for you to get some some contact in the community also it's important to understand that these resources are available for you use it wisely and we're going to see you in the next lecture thank you very much